I owe you guys a story that we can have a little fun with, but also take seriously to an extent. And this is coming to us from the New York Post. Woman charged after going topless in front of stepkids faces court setback. This is written by Steven Saraz. And uh, guys, look at this photo, okay? Now, first and foremost, you knew the headline would catch the eye, right? But us, uh, but we're gonna get into it, but just look at this photo, seriously. Like, you, they knew the photo that they took. They knew the photo that they were putting with this. This is Tilly Buchanan. And Tilly Buchanan read the document in court next to her lawyer, Randy Richards, in, on November 19th. Y'all went with that picture for a very specific reason. Now, maybe she was pulling away and reading it, but let's be real, all right? Let's be real, Tilly. <laughs> Honestly, mm, that definitely that, nice. Nice. You, you, you got a great uh, set of sweater, sweater puppets there. A Utah woman was dealt a setback in her fight against criminal charges for being seen topless by her stepchildren in her own home when a judge upheld the state's lewdness, well, pardon me, lewdness law on Tuesday. Tilly Buchanan, who could face prison and be forced to register as a sex offender for 10 years if convicted, challenged the new lewdness statute as unconstitutional on the grounds that it discriminates against women by making it illegal to show their breast. Oh boy. Judge Cara Petit upheld the law after prosecutors argued that lewdness in American society is commonly understood to include women's breasts, the Salt Lake Tribune reported. Now, first and foremost, this is taking place in Utah. Like, like yeah, I, I can see this being um, upheld. Buchanan and the American Civil Liberties Union of Utah had said the law involving a child is unfair because it treats men and women differently for bearing their chest. And that's because the reactions for men and women bearing their chest are different. We're not the same thing. Tilly, it, it, like, let's go back up for a second and, and, and kick it with Tilly. Because first and foremost, um, yeah, that body kind of puts her over the top. Like, I mean, <laughs> that, that that body definitely pulls a, 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 a six, seven face to, a, to a, a, a low eight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, my God, like, yo, she she definitely got, like, yo, I wouldn't be mad at, uh, mad catching that, uh, and what's the name in action. But either ways, darling, that's the thing. When a woman's chest is bare, like, I guess, uh, I hate to be uh, crude about this, but titty meat is very distracting. I don't know whether you realize this or not. And actually, there are men who have distracting chests. Like, look at the likes of a Terry Crews or The Rock with the pop peck, with the peck pop of love, right? So, there are men who, whose chest are, can um, get some type of a uh, attention and distraction like that, but it's far more just prevalent when it comes to females. And it, does it, is it unfair? I don't really think so because that's just how God made us. If you if you got a problem, then your problems with God, and there's nothing that you know human, mankind can really do for you. But we're gonna we're gonna get into why I think she's uh why why I don't think she really did anything wrong in the first place. Buchanan and the American Civil so, uh, ACL, okay, they made their case by pointing to a court ruling that overturned a topless ban in Colorado, a campaign known as the Free the Nipple Movement. But Petit said the ruling in Fort Collins, Colorado was different from the lewdness involving a child law in Buchanan's case. It wasn't immediately clear whether Buchanan would appeal the ruling. If she does not, her misdemeanor charges would move towards trial. Buchanan was charged after she and her husband took off their shirts to keep their clothes from getting dirty while they hung drywall in their garage in the in a state in a Salt Lake City suburb in late 2017 or early 2018. His three children, ages nine through thirteen, then walked in and saw the couple topless. So yeah, it's not like she went flashing the kid. It's not like we got like, you know, a, a Brazzers situation. Hey, stepmom, what's going on? Like, no, 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 no. Uh, it's not like that at all. Like they just happened to, they just happened upon them, you know, uh, doing the, uh, doing the dry, doing the drywall without their shirts on. Now, me personally, maybe wear something that doesn't require <laughs> that that you can uh that you can get dirty and you can muck up i mean that's just how clothes work but at the same time it's not like she went parading around in front of them they happened upon the situation and so thusly this really even shouldn't be a thing but 
The children's mother reported the incident to child welfare, welfare officials working on a separate investigation involving the kids. Her husband was not charged. So, uh, so this uh, is a deep like a, a familial thing you know like the mom is probably feeling some kind of way that the dad went and got uh re, I, I assume remarried uh to uh tilly and now you know this is just uh, the trailer parks <laughs> trailer parks and projects now see that's the thing man like yo there's an argument over baby daddies and ratchetness no it's not just an urban thing by any stretch of the imagination no trust me it goes back to basic biology because uh-uh that's my man and how can you take my man how can you leave me for a younger version and you know what with nice sweater meat come on man <laughs> you can't even explain she considers herself a feminist oh god and wanted to make a point that everybody should be fine with walking around their house or elsewhere with skin showing her lawyer said in uh, court documents Police allege it Buchanan removed her shirt and brought in front of the children while under the influence of alcohol. Oh my goodness, in her own home. The, like, like, once again, Utah, right? <laughs> it's Utah. Utah has a bit of a rep, not just for Mormonism and like, but for being as, you know, plain as possible. And they would, and I can see them, you know, taking these charges as far as they've taken them. But under the circumstances, at least presented within this um, article, yeah, she, they, like she was like, I, I, I guess, I guess I can sit there and say, yeah, let's get naked in order to uh, put up drywall. But eh, it's it's weird. It, it really is. But either way, is yeah, um, that is that that like that is a fantastic angle in which the new york post decided to uh drop this photo of the uh young ladies so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end <laughs> all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike go ahead to do that too i'm not scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to give videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you can like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you think in the comments um whereas like i said the drywall getting naked to put up drywall thing is uh, a little odd but you know to each their own the kids it, they didn't do this directly in front of the kids the kids walked in on this and it seems like you know sour grapes from the mom and once again it goes to show oh there's no big bad patriarchy that's uh you know trying to keep women down if anything you have a woman in this instance using uh the law to you know to go after another woman because i don't think that like eat like regardless kind of like particularly just because the kids walked in on it I, I i don't believe it was intentional so thusly getting hit with 10 years on a registry is i think that's a little beyond the pale but Utah, man, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Those Mormons don't play that. You can do all the polygamy you want, but like, hey, man, like, hey, keep the kids out of it, I guess. I don't know. But that's what I have a comment section for. And uh, seriously, man, like, I, I, like, I, like, yo, I mean, strokes. She works herself up with strokes because, dang it, at least at, at least at this picture, like, yo, dang, golly, that is, that is nicely done. I mean, ladies like to complain about the male gaze, but... Hey, it is what it is. We gonna look over here, man. Like, it, like, don't be mad, cause the male gaze is really your your bread and butter, ladies. Whether you like it or not. So, <laughs> disagree. Once again, comment section. Until the next one.